that there are two types of vitamins, and that are water-soluble vitamins and fat-soluble vitamins. Fat-soluble vitamins include vitamin K, vitamin A, vitamin D, and vitamin E. You can remember fat-soluble vitamin as Cade. Let's discuss vitamin E in detail. Vitamin E is fat-soluble vitamin. Vitamin E is also called anti-sterility vitamin because of its property of boosting sexual health in men and women, and it is widely used for treating sterility-related issues. Dietary sources of vitamin E are vegetable oils, nuts, and green leafy vegetables. 500 international units of alpha tocopherol per day claim inhibition of lipid oxidation in atherosclerotic lesions. So vitamin E includes different groups of fat-soluble compounds and that are tocopherols and tocotrienols. Tocopherols include alpha tocopherol, beta tocopherol, gamma tocopherol, and delta tocopherol, while tocotrienols also include alpha, beta, gamma, and delta forms. Among these, alpha form of tocopherol is the most active one. This alpha form consists of 6-hydroxychromane ring with isoprenoid side chain Antioxidant property of vitamin E is due to OH on this chromane ring. Tocopherols and tocotrienols both have same basic structure. There is a main difference is in their side chain. As name of tocotrienols indicates, they have three double bonds in their side chains. But tocopherols don't have double bonds in their side chain. So we can say tocotrienols have unsaturated tail while the tail of tocopherol is saturated. Let's understand the difference in structures of different forms of tocopherols. This table helps you to differentiate them. This is basic structure of all tocopherols. Observe the position of R1 and R2 in case of alpha tocopherol. R1 is CH3 and R2 is also CH3. In case of beta tocopherol, R1 is CH3 and R2 is H. In structure of gamma tocopherol, R1 is H and R2 is CH3. While in case of delta tocopherol R1 is H and R2 is also H. Now, let's understand the difference in structures of different forms of tocotrienol. This table helps you to differentiate them. This is basic structure. Of all tocotrienols, observe the position of R1 and R2. In case of alpha tocotrienol, R1 is CH3 and R2 is also CH3. In case of beta tocotrienol, R1 is CH3 and R2 is H. In structure of gamma tocotrienol, R1 is H and R2 is CH3. While in case of delta tocotrienol, R1 is H and R2 is also H. Alpha tocopherol prevents lipid peroxidation, particularly in the cell membrane of red blood cells. Do you know what is lipid peroxidation? Well, let's have an overview of lipid peroxidation. To make the role of vitamin E as an antioxidant easy, lipid peroxidation is an oxidative degradation of lipids. In oxidation, there is loss of electrons, but in lipid peroxidation, as in oxidation, loss of electrons occurs, but there is also generation of peroxide radical as an intermediate. Free radicals are craving for electrons, to achieve stability, for example OH, that is shown by an electron on OH. Polyunsaturated fatty acids are prone to undergo peroxidation. They are called unsaturated, as there are at least two double bonds present in chain, and because it has methylene bridge, methylene has two hydrogens, and that are highly reactive, free radical attacks on it. One hydrogen is released, so it share its electron with OH and water molecule will be formed. It means an electron is lost from lipid. Thus, more free radicals are generated. In initiation step, attack of reactive oxygen species on lipid. In propagation, lipid radical reacts with oxygen. In third and last step, called termination, two radical species react. In initiation step, there is methylene bridge in between two double bonds in polyunsaturated fatty acid hydroxyl radical attacks, a hydrogen of methylene bridge, and takes away hydrogen as a free radical. Thus water molecule will be formed. Unstable lipid radical will also be formed. 
In propagation, oxygen reacts with lipid radical. These two oxygen then attack methylene bridge. So lipid peroxyl radical will be formed. You can also see oxygen incorporated into the structure as there is one unpaired free radical on one oxygen. So it is called lipid peroxyl radical. That's why this reaction is called lipid peroxidation reaction. Then this lipid peroxyl radical reacts with another polyunsaturated fatty acid. One of the hydrogen of methylene bridge will transfer to lipid peroxyl radical. So there will be generation of lipid peroxide and polyunsaturated fatty acid is converted to lipid radical as generated in initiation step. This cycle is continuous until last step and that is termination occurs. In termination, two lipid peroxyl radicals react. So peroxide and oxygen molecule will be generated. Alpha tocopherol is a secondary or a chain-breaking antioxidant. It inhibits propagative phase. So alpha tocopherol intercepts the lipid peroxyl free radical. Tocoproxyl radical will be formed. This tocoproxyl radical then reacts with another lipid peroxyl radical and converted to inactive product. And that's why vitamin E is also used as a preservative because it prevents oxidative damage of oils, particularly containing polyunsaturated fatty acids. Moving towards the toxicity of vitamin E, few toxic effects have been reported. However, high doses might cause increased clotting times in subjects with a low vitamin K status. To have a better understanding of this, watch a video on vitamin K on scotia.com. Let's discuss the diseases caused by vitamin E deficiency. So deficiency of vitamin E occurs in children with cystic fibrosis and patients with steatorrhea. Red cell membrane damage results in hemolytic anemia and damage to nerve cells, causes peripheral neuropathy. So this was all about vitamin E. Stay tuned to scotia.com for more precise and knowledge-stuffed videos.